Okay. Well. Issue. Let's look at this guy. So I've done the clock. I've done this, which is apparently also this. They're the same thing. I've done the dock. I've done the gear. I've done this thing. So I've done everything. On the entire island. Apparently. So, like, I guess I just have to... I guess I just have to come back. And... Like, do I have to give them pages? Which page do I have? Blue page. I don't... I didn't really... I feel like I like... I like red more than blue at the moment. But... I went through all that with the blue page. I didn't even find the red page, I don't think. So I might give it a shot. I've at least saved, so in case something bad happens. But I don't know what else to do to continue. Besides give somebody a page. just sounds terrible sounds so terrible uh it's hard still hard to make out what he's saying for a lot of it but it kind of sounds like he's like straight up admitting to murdering his father or something or what's or a bystander there's so he's they're so manic and unreliable he's still asking for more pages i think i'm gonna go back in and do this again oops what that's not how i do that whoops i think i'm gonna go back in this might take a while but i'm just gonna might as well try to find the other page while we're at it. Ah, oh, there you are. The red page, it's on top of the crystal panel. I bet someone was shouting at their screen. I'm gonna spare you guys the experience of me slowly going through the entire thing again. Cause I think I have to do- I think I have to take the entire thing again. Cause I can't just like hop in here, right? Like I need to go to the mist book. You won't even open back up. Yep, time to do that whole thing again. I am returned. That is a time consuming. <laughs> Alright. Uh, red guy, you, you gonna be any help? With each page I can see more clearly. Soon, I'll be free from this horrid prison. This book. You must visit the one remaining age. You have not. That that my brother Akna is demented. He is guilty. He took advantage of the freedom our father had given us. Akna began to Destroy both 
myself and you, just as he destroyed the other creatures of the mist. Never will escape. You must simply bring the ready. Tell them the story that I your wisdom. See that I am innocent and he is guilty. This is forgotten island long ago. I will owe you my life and you will be greatly rewarded. They're not very useful, are they? They don't tell me where to go or how to proceed. They hint at there being another age for me to use, but they don't really tell me what I can do to proceed. Gets me in some trouble. Okay, so I am forced to assume that I need to go back in here again, because I never found Channelwood pages. And that's clearly a problem because uh, I'm out of places to go. So apparently I must have been supposed to find stuff in here. It, so I have to go back through the door that has the most inconvenient door. Is that does that so that's your sign that's supposed to give you evidence that you're where you're supposed to go, huh? So now I need to send you back down. No, go lower. Quickly, get back in there. There we go. So I'll have to do this twice, probably, as I find the blue and red pages again. Hopefully, hopefully there's like a very clear threshold of like, this is the last page we need, and I can refuse them that at that point. Because I'm pretty wise to the idea of them both being traitors, because both the way that they talk about each other and just their general... Oh, is that how you get back out? Probably, if you don't want to use the page. I don't trust them at all, basically. Uh, the way they're both con trying to sell each other out constantly just makes me think they're both, uh, they're both guilty. Um... And I find it weird how they're like... How do they know, how do they know which one's in which book, by the way? One of the- uh, 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 uh. One of them knows that one of them is in a red book, the other one knows the other one's in a green book. Blue book, I mean, uh... How do they know what order they were put in books? Like, one- I- I would presume one of them was trapped before the other one. So maybe that one would know, but how does the other one know about the other book that the other one's in or something? Like, can they see from inside their books? Wait, what's that? Oh, that's just the elevator, isn't it? That's what it looks like when the elevator's not there, I think. So, this might take a while. Because I suspect that, uh... I suspect that if I can't find the remaining pages, they're probably in one of these houses up here. I probably look straight at them and people are probably all like, Oh my god, it's right there, oh no! You're gonna have to come back now. Uh, probably happened. Because, yeah, I, I completely missed one of the pages in the previous area, too. So I might spare you guys some of the busy work as I just search these houses for a while. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a higher building up there. How do I get to you, sir? There's a higher layer. There's a bridge. The bridge goes over there. Spiral staircase? Maybe. Does that elevator go to, to another floor? There's an elevator over there by that floor. Like, maybe I can make it go even higher? We are gonna learn some things today. Crap. This is the dead end where you made- where I made the, uh, spiral staircase fix.
It's a very small third floor. I don't really see it over most of the area, but I see it just right in this corner. Oh, it goes off towards there, so it goes for a bit. Okay, um... Can I make you take me higher? Okay. So you only go one way. Oh, I never tried this elevator in the first place. It doesn't matter which way it goes. The issue is I need to redirect power to this elevator. Because you don't have power right now, because this thing needs to be diverted. And that explains why I couldn't do anything to it. Because I got here before and I couldn't do anything with this general lever area. And I found that curious. And then by the time I got access to the elevator, I'm like, well, this elevator doesn't matter anyway. But no, I think the elevator only goes from the second floor to the third floor. Which is why the staircase is necessary, because the elevator won't go down. Only up. Oh, right at the door. There we go. Ah! Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, they gave me the exit, so I was like, ah, maybe you don't, maybe you don't need the pages here. But yeah, like, there's no progression if you don't get the pages. That's the only thing you can do is get the pages. Howdy. Somebody broke their furniture. It's just rude, frankly. There's the red page. Ooh! Found myself another page. Just gonna go ahead and save that real quick. That's important. Let's just call this, uh, second half for now. I should be able to throw that into an imaging uh, image editing software in, in like no time and uh, repair the image completely so we can read it directly. Obviously, we can. Uh, hello. Ni always with like the knives and poison with these people. They're not trustworthy at all. Let's see. Sink. Obviously, I could just write down what the pages say and I'd be able to put that together that way but it should be satisfying if I fix the if I fix the papers and imaging software because then I can show you guys the note in its entirety in its original form that should be satisfying so I guess that that's uh, that would be had a red page if it had a red page then that would be the crazier sounding guys uh, room so this should be Cyrus's room it's even red. You were just the crew. What? What? Chumba Omba Solo. I never remember the actual dialogue from that. Oh, that opens. Takes you out the other side. Why do you exist, and what were you used on? Why are all the people here gone? Did you do something to all the people? I don't like that. Are you locked? No, apparently. Huh. Surprising. Blue page. And... Something. I hope I push the right button. Very interesting device, dear brother. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> is preparing. Remember, take only one page. Uh, what now? 
Yowls is full on crazy. Okay, so clearly they were talking to each other. Someone was planning. Are they talking about their father? Did they turn? Were they planning? That makes it seem like the two of them were in cahoots to go after their own father. But we have so little to go on because it's like snippets of sentences that are could easily be almost misconstrued. So I think the next step to do, and maybe I should stay here in case I need to do it here. Uh, let's... Let's take a moment to repair the images. Yeah. Let's save real quick. I'm gonna take a break for a little bit. I'm gonna ho open up imaging software, and I am going to repair the image, and we'll know what the two halves of, of the torn notes say, and we'll figure out what to do next based on that. Okay, so here's what I got from combining the two through editing. Marker switch vault access. Island of Mist. The vault is located in very plain view on the Island of Mist, and access can be achieved very easily if the simple instructions are followed. First, locate each of the marker switches on the island, turn each one of these switches to the on position, then go to the dock and, as a final step, turn the marker switch there to the off position. And we're back! I got my yellow note. Might see if I can get away with not using it, though, if it lets me. So. Assuming every switch I ever found is still in the up position, let's go to the dock and try to switch it to the down position. Hello? What was that? Uh... Hello? White paper. Okay. How do I... That's important, right? My icon is no longer a red paper or a blue paper, it's a white paper. Do I put it in one of you guys? One of you? One of you guys need a paper? Um... Trying to think of anywhere else I've... Is there a third book somewhere? Could this be for... What'd the rhyme book say? Rhyme, is that you? Yeah. 40, press the button, something on the pad. I will turn to rhyme later when my mind is cleared. Does rhyme contain... Another book or something? It was like here, right? Um... That's a picture of the of of a uh, mist. Ah, it closes immediately. It, it used to like allow me to open it up, but I guess we're probably past that point. Well, crap! What am I missing here? Okay, so I'm coming back out of the book again. I couldn't find anywhere to put the white page yet, so I don't think it matters yet. I think I'm supposed to find that later, and I have. So, but uh, by picking up the white page, I couldn't put the red page in the book anymore because they took it from me. So I had to go back inside again and get it again. I'm like, dude, get pockets. What's wrong with you? You don't yet have the final page. 
You must not have understood my directions. Find pattern 158 in the last book on the middle shelf. Enter it into the fireplace and bring the red page to me. Hurry. And don't touch the blue page of the green book. That's important. The fireplace, he said. That's gonna be this dude. This thing that's bothered me this whole game because I couldn't figure out what to do anything. Is my smiley face still in there? No, where's my clicky bit? No. I'm still having this glitch where it won't give me my mouse. Like, I'll go in there and my mouse will disappear. I'm like, no, I need the mouse to do the thing you're having me do. Alright. Last, nope. Last book on the right. Oh. Pat said 158. He also said, don't touch the green book. Which is probably very important. So this matches the fireplace thing. It was a grid. So now we know what that's for. Pattern 158. Let's see, I can take a picture of you with my phone. Just to save us on the time it would take to uh, manually draw a grid out and everything for us. So that's pattern 158. Don't touch the green book. That's the channel wood. But we read this story already. That's the one where the fonts change. Yeah, it changes color. Those are the diagrams of the bridge and stuff. I don't think that's the green book. And there's like other burned green books. No. That one's all. That stuff's just kind of sitting here. There's a lot of green books. I don't think it's those. I think I think there's a green book like these ones. That must contain something or someone. Can I have my mouse? Do I would have had escape and come back out while I have my mouse? No. What what is happening? Give me my, I need a mouse. I need a mouse in order to do this part. What? That's what it is. If you're moving when you click on it, you won't have a mouse. But if you stand still for a second, then the mouse reappears, then you click on it, then it... it which is counterintuitive, because of course you're somehow clicking on it without your mouse existing, apparently? Like, that's... what does that mean? Let's see here. That's a start. I think that's it. The zigzag, these two dots, this little hump, the square, these four, eight. Oh, are we rotating right now? Oh, there we have it, that's a green book. Oh, and that's a blue page and a red page. So those are probably the last pages, huh? I'm gonna touch the green book because you told me not to, and I don't trust either of you guys even a little bit, so hello. Who the devil are you? Uh, don't come here to die. Not, not yet. yet. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, as you no doubt have for me. Where should I begin? Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atris. I feel you've met my son, Cyrus and Akinar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island in my library. Oh, my library. It contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. I wrote those books to entrap over greedy explorers who might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. My sons. Cyrus and Akinar, we had many journeys together. I gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. I could see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, 
They did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Oh, they devised a plan. An evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had progressed. Their own mother. Oh, my own dear Catherine. They used her to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I could return to Mist, except they removed a single page from my Mist linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. There we have it. An actually sane voice for a moment that we can talk to. Who put these books everywhere? <laughs> like, who placed the books? I guess... I guess they trapped him on purpose and stashed him where he couldn't get out. And then... Wait. That's confusing. Then these two got got trapped in their books. But where'd all the pages go? Were the pages already cut out in advance? But then... I'm trying to pick out the sequence here. Somebody put the pages in every single world somehow. And also two of them back there. Did they trap him and then not care about those pages? They did not know that how they related to the red and blue books, even though there was like a red and blue page and a red and blue book, and that's why they were after him. And let's look at the this note again real quick. It's directed at Catherine from Atrus. So that that may have that may have been written by them, which might be why it's so vague. So this appears to be why there's a white page here, and why I had to piece together multiple shredded pieces of paper to figure out. The secret is this is probably the missing book that this dude needs. And you can't necessarily try- Oh, right, I have to stand still for a second first. Mouse is back. I don't have a lot of people to trust here, generally, but... The other, the other two guys are just so blatantly nuts, and there's so much- and there's so much evidence that they're not trustworthy that I'm just not... ...planning on helping them. And inaction will only cause the game to literally do nothing. <laughs> Oh, I already clicked on it. Boy, if I clicked on that without the missing page, that, that wouldn't be good. I would just be trapped. So have you just been chilling out in this place that looks like the room? Oh, that's freaky. Look at Mr. 3D Man. Oh, that's a trip. Right. Because he's like, he's probably like an FMV. He's probably an FMV like like everything else when he talked to him in the original game, but because I can walk around a little bit, they had to make a 3D model of him. Uh, is that is that Jeff Gersman? <laughs> ah, my friend, you've returned. And the page? Did you bring the page? Ah. Give it to me. Give me the page. Please. You've done the right thing. I have a difficult choice to make. My sons have betrayed me. I know what I must do. I shall return shortly. Well, there we have it. Can I just click on that and just... The book didn't go with him, so like, presumably I could just go too. 
Nope, I have to wait. Hi. It is done. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, but uh, my rating cannot wait. I feel that my long delay may have already had a catastrophic impact on the world in which my wife Catherine is being held hostage. Where's, where's oh, Catherine? Uh, reward. I'm sorry, but all I have to offer you is the library on the Island of Mist. The books that are contained there. Feel free to explore at your leisure. I hope your explorations are satisfying. You will uh, no longer have my sons to deal with. Future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Till that point, you're free to enjoy the exploration from my library on Mist. And thank you again. I can't. I can't tell when we're done or not, because <laughs> he stops so often. <laughs> Is that what we do now? Okay, there we go. <laughs> that is one of the most disinterested characters at the end of a game ever when it comes to like the victory or failure. Like, like we've like congratulations, you won, missed. Um, thank you. Yeah. Um, I I gotta go. I gotta get some writing done. Oh yeah, that's how you, that's how you leave if you're not sure. Uh. Feel free to, like, you know, explore. There's a library. I, I need to get back to my writing. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the linking book. That's that's how you leave. Like, <laughs> he's so chill about the whole thing. So, I'm wondering where Catherine is. Catherine, I figure, is in one of two places. She's either in Riven, because Riven is the sequel's name. The, ga the next game's called Riven, and I think one of the books we read established the idea of Riven being a, uh, I think Riven is supposed to be a prison of some sort, so if she's missing, she might be in Riven. If it's not that, she might be in Rhyme, which is the last book we never visited. And my understanding is that Rhyme is an area that didn't exist in the original game and was added in the Masterpiece, not even Masterpiece Edition, it was, it was added in, in Real Mist. Uh, this is the Masterpiece Edition of Real Mist, so the previous version of this was the first time Rhyme was added, so I think that's where we go Oh, look at the shadow of the glass. That doesn't make any sense. Weird. Oh, weird. The glass is, like, facing the wrong way, like it's upside down in the shadow compared to the... compared to the uh, location it's at. Weird. I'll, I'll, I don't know if the flashlight was supposed to be in this game or not. 3D model's a neat trick, but it's d definitely, like, a surprise to see a person in this game, because I've never seen an a single person outside of the FMVs. He's the first person you're in the same room as. So I guess he dealt with this problem. Whatever he's doing, he seems... Oh, that's why there's a flat, uh, dark thing. There's like a weird... It's like a shot glass thing... Shaped thing inside of another up thing that looks like a larger upside down shot glass. That's why there's like a... Well, that's, that's why the shadow looks like it's the wrong way. Okay. So, right... Missed. Bo -do -do -doom. So there we have it. I have now... I've now beaten the main story, I believe. That's the ending of Mist. But, I still need to get to Rhyme. Oh, the books are just gone. And there's like a burnt, is that like a singed spot? Like, did he burn the books? Or is that just the color that the wood was there? Um, I think Rhyme is gone. Did it tell me to do that? Yeah, that's the mechanical one. Yep. Ryan was right down here. 
Where hast thou gone? Is it down here? Because we never did that. We never did anything down here. What's your deal? Um. We are still have a four-digit code. Apparently. Well, I'd say that's a mystery for next time. I need to find a four-digit code. It might be in the rhyme book that has mysteriously vanished. That's weird. But I'll poke around and see if I can find that. Oh. Hello. Are you the rhyme book? Yes, you are. Why'd you get up? Weird. Probably just wanted to stand out. Oh. 2735. So I did all the steps before, because I found- because the book was just sitting there on the shelf. But that, uh, whoa! That was weird. Game lost its du game lost its damn mind. Okay. So that must be the code to this guy, right? Is it four digits? Yep. Twenty-seven thirty-five. Bye. Um, I take it something happened upstairs. <laughs> Would that be inside? Here? Ah, look at you. The secret rhyme compartment. Oh. It's covered in weird lightning. I'm gonna guess this is a, the health hazard. Oh no. I don't think this is up to code, Mr. Guy from Abduction. That I'm sure is probably like a... Is he an actor that they hire? Or is he- I assume he's just literally like one of the developers, right? The guy that shows up in all these different games that they reuse. Because he's in this game and he's in, uh... He shows up again in Abduction and he sounds similarly distracted in that game. Hello. I tried, I tried turning my flashlight on like it was going to have that kind of range. Alright, we're at Ocean. And there is... Snow everywhere. So this is a zone that never existed in the original mist then. We only have it now. In 3D mist. Ooh. And all that. I actually don't know what my goal is or what I'm trying to accomplish here because the whole pages story is over at this point. And that's that. That door's losing its mind over there. This is another dead end for now. Very loud noises out there. Okay, let's try you out. Hello. The button doesn't do anything for now. Ah! <laughs> Achievement unlocked, Rhyme Age. I just unlocked the achievement you normally get for beating an, a, an age. Uh, but I guess you just get that achievement for finding the Mist Book, and, well... Seems they give it to you right away, because they don't want you to get trapped here, because, uh, I guess... The story is over at this point. This is all optional choice. Can I, like, untack this to take it down? It's just some crystals, I think? Yeah. Wait, the lock- the door's locked? Um... Okay... Normally by now I've at least found the inkling of a puzzle. Oh, there we go. There we go. I was worried for a moment there. Aha. Should 
Should I be concerned about that sound? Ooh, is it changing colors in here? Oh, that's a trick. Oh, so I think the implication was supposed to be the entire environment was frozen, and so now it's changing colors to these, like, nice, vibrant... Wow. Wow, that was weird. It happened so slowly it was actually, like, hard to notice, but, like, the saturation and the contrast is all there now, and, like, this place sort of thawed out, I suppose, just across the board. Yeah, everything's easier to see. Not sure what I would do out there at this point. Yeah, that's what I thought the door would do, sure. It's just gonna slide straight up. Nice, creepy Lovecraft hallway. Like we're playing Conarium again. Do you think that up and down both do things this time? Or do you think it's a trick again? Because it's usually some kind of trick. Colors. White, red, yellow, green, blue, purple, black. Aurora Master. I just kind of got the power to make whatever Aurora I feel like. That's pretty neat. What do you do? Close the door. Oh. Okay. How do you do? Got a dice looking thing. Quills. Probably nothing else that's important besides the, uh, the book. Drawer is empty. Before spending any more time with my experiments, I have decided that I must finish construction. I have brought both Cirrus and Akinar this time. The shaft is almost finished, as is the observation post. Both boys prefer it inside where it is warm, protected from the cold. Akinar sits in the observation post for hours, and Cyrus is consumed with the crystals and the glimpses of ages that were that we were able to see. Neither of them shows any real desire to leave. I cannot remember the last time my son spent so much time with me in, the, in an age. After much more experimenting with the shapes of the crystals, we were able to get a nearly perfect view of an age inside the book. Cyrus wanted to link immediately, not understanding the link is only visual. Without the ink, the crystals do not find, uh, bind onto a particular age. Because of this, the crystals have an interesting side effect. It is possible to change the crystals and watch the age change. While in reality, we are seeing a vast number of distinct, though similar, ages. Displaying the current age defined by the crystals, it appears as though we are changing the original age. Next are the lights. My sons seem much more interested in the lights of the night sky right now. Their only interest... Oh, typo. Interst in the crystals seems to be whether or not we can view Channelwood or Stoneship, two ages I have not seen in a long while. It is possible to view the ages, although the time it would take to find the correct combination would be prohibitive. I do not consider my task with the crystals complete, but I would rather keep Cyrus and Akinar excited and here, so we will move on to the lights. I think it better to keep Riven from, some, uh, from them, and so it is just as well that we move on to something else. I will view that place later. The lights are curious, although I originally thought the effect to be an organic one. I now believe it to be an electromagnetic in origin. I think the effect could be triggered somehow. It's something that we'll have to try. And if Cyrus and Akinar have any, uh, have their way, it will be soon. I have never seen either of them so interested in my experiments, and I do not want to dampen their enthusiasm. It seems they have forgotten about the crystals now. I am sure either of my sons was expecting... I am not sure that either of my sons was expecting the amount of work it would take. It has turned out to be a challenging... To be a challenging... Oh, a challenge working above the cold waters where the wind cuts through clothing and skin like a sharp knife. Still, even amidst the dark cold, they are driven to complete the task. 
It is a side of them that I have not seen before. Another hard day, but we have erected the first of three towers. I am too tired to write tonight. It has been a week. The second and third towers are up. We only need to connect the power. I am exhausted, as are Cyrus and Akinar. However, they have no intention of quitting, and that, dri that drives me. The towers are finished, as is the power to each of them. Power will be conducted directly through the saline, uh, saline sea, alleviating the knee for, need for stringing wires and enabling us to locate the towers a comfortable distance away. Most of the remaining work can be accomplished inside, f uh, for which I am grateful. I am tired of the cold. I look forward to the warm beaches of Mist Island. Perhaps we all deserve a break. We only spent a day with Catherine before returning. We were here only a minute before we again began to experiment with the towers and the electromagnetic discharges. We were able to create an arc for the first time between two towers. His reflection in the cold waters was magnificent. We are close now. Tomorrow, after adjusting the voltage, we will know just how close. The beauty is awe-inspiring. At our command, multicolored waves of light dance across the dark sky. Brilliant flashes of white lightning that make, that make the display even more amazing precede them. The boys are convinced they will be able to bring their mother here, and though she usually refuses to use the books, I am becoming convinced that she will come, or at least I hope. As for me, I must return to Mist for some other or some other warm place. There is more to be accomplished here, but I long for the sun and will spend some time under its glow before returning. Catherine had to come after I told her of my intentions to use the crystals to view Riven. She's not consumed with the setup of the of the geodes and the crystals and encourage me daily as I try to uncover the combination that will allow me to view of that age. Cyrus and Akinar did not come this time. A lot of references to Riven. That's, they're really sequel baiting here. Had the game come out yet, I wonder? Real, Well, yeah, Real Mist came out like... I think the original version of Real Mist came out like seven years later, so I assumed that they had already made uh, Riven and probably multiple other Mist games by then. I must return to Everdunes. I believe that a few of the crystals I left in Everdunes may help me here. Catherine has returned home for now, but she will meet me in Mist Island in three days. I think I'll be ready by then. There's no other pages. There's no doc. There's no symbols that seem particularly important. Maybe these four at best. Let's see here. Just in case, I'll go ahead and take a quick picture of that. There we go. So I've got a quick picture of those four symbols, just in case they happen to turn out to be important. Save that for later. The shard! That color scheme with that... That... Let's see, how do you look at that cover with that symbol on and everything and not think of freaking Dark Crystal at that point? The series of connecting things. Let's see. I cannot relate to this man. His, the places he goes to write are like the worst little nightmare caves where you would slowly like suffocate to death or something. Like it's just the worst. Come to think of it, I should try to see if you can go up twice. That's a negative. Alright, well we've now turned around 180 degrees, so this is not the same direction I came from. This is something new. A familiar it sounds like a familiar theme is playing. Can't look at these books. Hello. It it is real. The work of your hands, the touch of my dreams. I have left my dream for you. I'm only yours, Catherine. Let's take a picture of that real quick, just in case. It could be that those that series of colors could be important. Could be. It's so close to being a series of numbers, like one, two, three, four, five. There's at least a one, two, three. You got look counting peaks, but then some of them will get weirder. Let's see. The work of your hands, the touch of my dreams. What are you talking about exactly, Catherine? 
Riven? Because she seemed to always care about Riven for some reason. Hello. So those are the geodes we heard about. Is that pointing at Riven, I wonder? Oh. Okay. Let's try to mash this stuff then. I went, accidentally went too far. I was already there. That's the one. You're wrong, actually, aren't you? That's the right one. There's the triple spike. That's the correct one. I need, like, a little V-looking one. Mm, not quite. That's the one. Okay. What have I accomplished, though? I assume this is a coordinate system, basically. We've been dealing with enough telescopes and whatnot lately that seems to be a reoccurring theme, and, and I may now be playing the source material of games like that. This complicated telescope-looking coordinate system and the crystal factories, like, screams other games I've played on the channel. A stiff a series of them, which makes sense because this is mist. This is the mist. I mean, that's it. That's that just makes the thing point at that. Is there anything else in here? I imagine something else may have changed as a result. Here's a question: Can I go down from this floor? Wait, you can't rotate here. Weird. That takes me all the way back up here. Now we're back out here. The colors might matter. Maybe you have to... Maybe you have to like, we have the different symbols correctly, and the, maybe you turn the sky to all the different colors. Can you go down again? So you can't go up or down here, but you can't rotate on when you're... You can only rotate on the top floor, so I'm guessing that the two bottom floors don't match up. Somehow. They really make it easy to go back to the mist book if you get lost, or don't know what to do next. So are these guys just kind of out here, or what? Still trying to get a grasp on what the actual puzzle is here. It really seems like there's nothing out here. I spawned here, right? Does that mean that the book used to spawn you here, but there wasn't a building here yet, so you would just fall? Is that what happened? So that's where you are when you mess with the Aurora. The question is, what does messing with the Aurora do? And why would one do it? I'm not really sure. I mean, they only really gave me... Blark. Accidentally right-clicked, so I was just stuck standing still. Whoops. They only really gave me one thing to interact with so far. Maybe I'm missing something still. Like, how do I change... Can I pick colors? Like, these are colors. Red, green, blue, yellow, purple. There it is, you hold it. I learned this trick 
from that damn previous puzzle where you pull the lever and it's like, surprise, holding it's the secret. So you tap it to change the crystal, you hold to change the color, so red. Red. Green. Blue. Oh, that was already yellow. Dang it. Well, time to do the full loop. So I made a terrible mistake. There we go. Back to yellow. Now purple. Seems about right. Apparently not. Maybe you're the wrong purple? Well, that's obviously it. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Click. That might be all we do. Is that Ribbon? Are we teasing the next game? Is that... Whoa, whoa, I can sit down. That caught me by surprise. I, I don't know if you can do anything while you're sitting down, but you can sit down. Sometimes, awkwardly, except for when the game doesn't let you do it. There you go. This game is not click-friendly when you try to look around with stuff like that. I'm like, oh, can I interact with these things from here? And it's like, blork. And now I've been sawed in half by this, uh, drawer. And I am dead. How did I get out? Impressive. Well, alrighty then, I think that's Riven. And I think that's his mist. That's the end of mist. Is, uh, they had like a... It seems like they had, like, a micro-expansion that was basically sequel bait, I think. So, thanks for watching, like always, and tomorrow we will be starting a new game that is whatever the Patreon people vote for next. This has been a fun ride to finally see the, uh, origins of so many of the games that I've been playing. It was surprisingly brief, I gotta say, but I guess that's what I should- I probably should expect PC games from the 90s, early, early 90s. I should probably expect all of them to be short, especially the 3D ones. Well, I guess it was, pre it was pre rendered, but they still had to make the 3D stuff. It just didn't, they just didn't have to make it run well. Uh, I should probably expect all games like this to be pretty ch uh, short, unless they're like Western RPGs, which are nightmarishly on the other side of the spectrum. See you guys next time.